ecological disaster. Repsol added in a statement to Peru securities regulator SMV that oil refining operations are continuing normally and it does not expect an official investigation to significantly affect the subsidiary's business position. This incident has not affected the continuity of our operations, or our capacity to supply the market, Repsol said. The event has not had a significant impact on the productive activities of the refinery. Government says Repsol spilled some 6,000 barrels of oil into the ocean last week near its La Pampula refinery, which the company blamed on unusual waves triggered by a volcanic eruption in Tonga. Workers continue in a cleanup campaign after an oil spill, on Cavaro Beach in the Ventanilla district of Calau, Peru, Saturday, January 22, 2022. The oil spill on the Peruvian coast was caused by the waves from an eruption of an undersea volcano in the South Pacific nation of Tonga. Workers clean oil from Cavaro Beach in Ventanilla, Calau, Peru, Tuesday, January 18, 2022, after high waves attributed to the eruption of an undersea volcano in Tonga caused an oil spill. The Peruvian Civil Defense Institute said in a press release that a ship was loading oil into La Pampula refinery on the Pacific coast on Sunday when strong waves moved the boat and caused the spill. A worker checks the carcass of an oil-soaked bird during a clean-up campaign on Cavaro Beach in the Ventanilla district of Calau. Aerial view of boats gathering oil on the sea surface from a beach next to the summer resort town of Ancon, northern Lima, on January 20, 2022 after a spill which occurred during the offloading process of the Italian flag tanker Mare Doricum at La Pampula refinery caused by the abnormal waves recorded after the volcanic eruption in Tonga. Spanish energy firm Repsol said a clear-up operation for a major oil spill on the coast near Peru's capital Lima would take until the end of February, in an environmental incident declared a catastrophe by the government. Dead seals, fish, and birds have washed up on the shore covered in oil, while fishing activities in the area have been suspended, the government has said. Repsol said on Friday it had enlisted fishermen to help clear up the oil. I used to collect crustaceans, but now, when I walk to the shore they are dead, said fisherman Walter de la Cruz. Fishermen used to go sell the seafood that we collect. But now everything smells like death. The Pacific Ocean off Peru is a significant source of marine life and seafood for Peruvians. The government has said Repsol spilled some 6,000 barrels of oil into the ocean last week near its La Pampula refinery, which the company has blamed on unusual waves triggered by a volcanic eruption in Tonga. The company has declined to state the magnitude of the spill, saying it is still evaluating the effect. Peru's environmental agency OEFA said on Thursday about 1.7 million square meters of soil and 1.2 million square meters of ocean had been affected by the spill. Communist Peruvian President Pedro Castillo described it as the biggest ecological disaster to affect the Andean nation in recent years. Repsol added it deployed about 840 people to help with cleaning tasks. Repsol's La Pampula accounts for 54% of Peru's refining capacity.